Hi and welcome to another episode of PeaceMeg TV. In today's tutorial for Photoshop, we're going to be taking a look at how we can create panoramics and how we can use one of the new tools that's been added in the latest update in CC 2015 that allows us to get even better panoramic images without sacrificing lots of pixels from around the edges. So let's take a look at what the tools offer us, how we can use it, and what we're going to end up with. So at the moment I've got Adobe Bridge open and as you can see I've got a couple of images that are part of a panoramic already selected. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit these inside Adobe Camera Raw. We're going to edit all four of them together and we're going to tell Adobe Camera Raw that we want these to be a panoramic image. So I can right click and I can say open in Camera Raw with all the four images selected. That will open up the Camera Raw. And if we take a look on the left hand side, you can see all of my images are open. So what I'm going to do is select these by simply holding down the shift key on the keyboard and selecting the first and the last images on there. Now I could edit these if I want to inside camera raw as you normally would, but for now I'm not going to bother with that. I just want to quickly go in and show you how we can create a panoramic and what controls we have available to us and the new control features we've got in the latest update to CC. So if we come to the top, on the right hand side of the film strip you can see we've got a little option to fly out of menu and we're going to come down and we're going to use merged panorama or we could use the keyboard shortcut of control and m so i'm going to do that that's going to quickly go and check the images and create a preview of our panoramic for us and once that's completed we can take a look at what we end up with so i'll just bring that in from side and as you can see we now have a panoramic image already set up and if we take a look you can see it looks pretty good but there's one issue we've cropped off a hell of a lot of information around the edges to give us a nice straight image and if I uncheck the auto crop option you can see how much of the image was cropped off so if we take a look you can see most of the sign at the bottom of this chain is gone whereas in the actual image itself it's all still there and some space underneath it so we'd normally end up having various different ways we'd have to edit this image to try to square things off if we didn't want to crop off all those pixels. With the latest update, we now have a new feature, which is the boundary warp option. So make sure you uncheck the auto crop. And then as we adjust the boundary warp, you can see the edges of the image start to warp out and straighten themselves out. So we take that up to 100%. And you can now see we've got all of our image all straightened out we haven't lost any information on the edges like we did with the auto crop. So we now end up with 100% of our, our panoramic image all put together, nice straight edges with no major distortion. So once we've got everything laid out exactly as we want and the boundary warp given us all of the image, all we need to do is hit the merge button in the top right hand corner. That will now ask us to save the image. We can choose what file format we want, which is DNG in this instance. And then we just hit the save button and we have our panoramic all put together for us. So that's how easy it is to get great looking panoramics with the latest update to Adobe Camera Raw and Photoshop CC. Well, I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have, please hit the subscribe button below to be kept up to date with all of the new tutorials added to the channel. If you've got any comments, questions or feedback on this or any of the other tutorials on the channel, please pop those in the comments section below. Until next time, take care.